yourself or not? That's the question when it comes to picking out ideas for Father's Day. New poll from Home Advisor reveals 33% of fathers would gladly trade a new tie for a completed home improvement job. And right now we have husband and wife team from My Fix It Up Life, Mark and Teresa Clement. Oh, listen, I am so glad to get you guys. I mean, like most of us say, well, here's a hammer. What do you do with it? But you guys have been helping people learn how to do fix up anything. And before I get into what we can do for Father's Day, where did you guys meet? Uh -huh, that's a great question. We get asked that all of the time. We actually met through Home Improvement. I'm so, because uh, Mark, you're a general contractor, and Teresa, you're a designer. So love bloomed yes. then, uh, and that kind of had to be an interesting story. Yes, you know, I say that carpenter plus designer equals love because we share so many of the same kinds of interests and joys. and. You know, it's fun to be able to spend time together doing something that we love doing, yeah. creating something, and especially you doing projects with our kids, too. Yeah, I think it's great. And so let's talk about Father's Day, because you're saying that most fathers for Father's Day would rather trade in the tie for a completed home improvement. So you're saying that they started to do it themselves, but for some reason either ran out of money or didn't know what to do next. They need some help. Well, yeah, and it's even a project that's on their list that they don't want to do because there's always projects that everybody is kind of avoiding doing around their house. And the survey just completed is that three things that dads really don't want to do off their DIY list are painting interior walls, yes. repairing drywall, <laughs> and installing weather stripping. And you can kind of imagine why you might not, why they might not want to do those projects too, because. You know, they're not all that muscular, muscle-bound, you know, big tools kind of thing. They're repetitive. And, you know, I think that they're kind of fun because they're meditative. Oh, they're meditative. That's good. Mark, I'm going to ask yeah. you something. What do you tell dads who don't know how to do anything except maybe go to the office or play golf? <laughs> you know, whether you know how to do stuff around your house or you know how to be a really great dentist, it doesn't matter. <laughs> If you want to get a project done, it's about getting the project done. So what we suggest is if you're not handy, find a contractor who is and give dad that completed project, whether it's pressure washing the deck or cleaning the windows or, or fixing the siding. But don't just march an army of contractors in there on Father's Day. Hand them off a little card, maybe put a gift card inside it so yeah. we can go out and see a movie or something like that. And then get the right pro because what you don't want to do is leave a bigger mess than you started. And yes. we and find pros at HomeAdvisor.com because they're vetted, they're researched, they're rated, all that stuff that is going to help it go easier for you. Well, well, and the most important thing really too is budget. You yes. know, thinking about money, that's a huge thing that's that why most we argue don't about. That's why most people don't complete the project is they run out of money. Yes, they run out of time or they run out of money. And a really good thing to do is thinking about budget before you get started. And we always say that it's smart to always sort of under budget. So make sure that you have more money than you think you need to finish a project. And a great place to go is HomeAdvisor.com. They have cost guides for more than 850 home improvement projects that you can find out cost information. That's great. Locally and nationally. That's yes. great. Thank you so much for joining us today because you're a very fun couple. We'd like to have you come to Dallas oh, and thanks, be on Susan. the show and show us all how to do it yourself. We'll be back from Farm to that Table great. is a new uh, name for an old concept using ingredients from local farms is tastier, it's healthier, and it supports the local economy. We relearn more when the broadcast returns.